Okay, hi everybody. This is going to be a video continuing my um, video that I just did before. We're talking about carbohydrates and uh, dieting. So, hubby, can you um, yes. oh say hi? Hi everybody. <laughs> can you um, let's start with um, good carbs because I think the list of good carbs are shorter than the list of bad carbs. This is actually very interesting. There are times when some carbs are good for you and other times that the same carbs will be bad. Mm -hmm. So one has to realize that there is actually a time when sugar is what you need. Mm -hmm. And there are other times when sugar is the last thing you should be eating. Mm -hmm. Unless you've really, really just killed yourself in the gym, you do not want any simple carbs. Mm -hmm. What's a simple carb? Anything that digests quickly. I like what? Sugar, but mm. bread is just as, bad. just as bad. You might as well just be eating sugar. Oh, how about whole wheat bread? There's not enough difference to really. It's pretty much the same stuff as far as digesting. I mean, yes, there's some fiber, which is good for you and stuff in there. But what does it do to your glycemic index? It's is there any difference between... It's, it's not worth mentioning. Yes, there is a difference, but it's not, it's not enough. It still does the same damage. still does the same okay, damage. Okay, so that's a hoax. Yes. The whole whole wheat thing is a fad. If people really want to eat grains, mm -hmm. they should eat the whole grain. Not the whole milled up grain, the whole unmilled grain, the whole cr kernel. Okay, give us a sample. What would you eat? Like steel cut oats, which is, well, technically not quite the whole kernel anymore because it's been cut in two, but mm -hmm. that's as close as you're going to get. Okay. Uh, How about rice? Rice isn't as bad as bread or anything that's been milled, but really, rice is ideal for uh, athletes who want to stay lean and they're working hard and they want to build muscle. Okay. But, but not for dieting. For, for dieting... No way. For dieting, really, you want to cut calories, and you can't cut them from protein, so you're cutting them from carbs and fats. Okay. But that's the bottom line. Even for somebody who's not dieting, if you want to maintain your body weight and stay lean or get lean, the ideal carb would be something with the consistency of roofing shingles or something like that. Something <laughs> really tough to digest. Um, which is why vegetables like broccoli and so are so good. They don't have much carbohydrate in them. There's a lot of fiber, so your body really has to struggle to get even at that little carbohydrate that's in there. Okay. Um, how about um, something like... Okay, so what is what would be a good carb? What, what would be... Okay, so... so how about corn? Is there anything in corn that's worth eating? If you're working hard and you need the energy, corn's fine. But okay. if you're dieting, no, you just you don't want it. You don't need it. Okay. So what is the what is the best time to have a carbohydrate that you can actually see in your hand? Okay, this is a carbohydrate. It's not a vegetable with a carbohydrate in it. What would be a good carb to have right after a workout? Now, people, this is going to sound strange, but if you've lifted heavy in that gym and you've really worked hard, that's the one time you can have even a donut. Why? Because your body will be so insulin sensitive, your muscles, at that point. Why? What happened in the gym with your muscles? Well, there are two mechanisms at work. One is you've actually used some of the carbs that were stored in your muscle, mm -hmm. so they now are hungry again. They are, they're, you've They've created been depleted. Room. Yes, you've created more room for them. Okay. And there's another mechanism, which is what, by just contracting muscle, you make them, uh, you enable them to take up carbs without any insulin even. Okay. Which means that after workout, your muscles will absorb more carbohydrate than they normally would. Okay, so you won't have insulin getting released? Not at all. It'll go straight to your muscle, okay. which is where it belongs, okay. assuming you're not overdoing it. Okay, so um, what are 
<gasps> Give us examples of bad carbs. Except for, like, okay. So people, you all know that there is stuff, like everything that you think are carbs would be cookies and bread and uh, um, uh, um, sugary stuff and bars and uh, chocolates and pasta. And pasta um, what else? Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. Vegetables. Okay, people, potato is not a vegetable. They call it a vegetable. There's nothing in a potato that's worth eating. You never ever eat potatoes. You throw that word out of your head. Uh, not even under normal circumstances do you eat potato. What about sweet potato? Is there anything good about sweet a sweet potato? Sweet potatoes have some very useful and nice nutrients in them. Mm -hmm. Still, you have to be working hard to eat. You've got to earn them. You've got to okay. earn the right to eat the sweet potato. Okay. Because it is sugary. It's, there's a lot of sugar and starch in it. Okay. But there's also a lot of fiber in it and some vitamins and other stuff. Does potatoes have any fiber in them? Hardly. Okay. A potato is fine too if you want that for your post workout meal. Oh, yeah. I'd rather have a donut. But only that. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it might sound crazy to say, people, go and have a donut. Mm. If you worked out really if you hard. Worked out hard. If you didn't, your muscles won't be depleted, which means insulin will come and you won't be burning fat and you did that workout for nothing, right? And there's, there are other problems with uh, eating too much of the wrong carbs too. Mm -hmm. That's They actually make you more hungry. Okay. How you know, does that work? Because if they get absorbed rapidly mm -hmm. into your blood, because mm -hmm. they digest quickly, mm -hmm. there's a spike in your blood sugar. There's a spike in insulin from your pancreas to get the blood sugar back down. So what happens is, not long after you've eaten it... About 20 minutes or half an hour. Depending on how much you've eaten, your blood sugar will drop again. Mm -hmm. And all that, all that energy is now stored, but now your body senses blood sugar is down. I must be hungry. Mm -hmm. And you're not hungry. You still have the food in your body. Yes. Just because your, your sugar's dropped... Your br brain is telling you that you're hungry. Yes. It's actually interesting. If you get to that point where you start feeling, oh, I'm really hungry now because your blood sugar has crashed, mm -hmm. if you just wait for 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. that hunger goes away. Mm -hmm. Because that's enough time for your liver to start releasing the stored carbohydrate again mm -hmm. and to go into its, or well, to start taking over its intended role. Mm -hmm. of uh, stabilizing your blood sugar. Okay. So what is that feeling that people get when they eat and they didn't eat for a while and then they feel all yucky and dizzy and, and nauseous and what's happening with your body when that happens? That never happens to me. <laughs> you don't get hungry and then get nauseous and then say, oof, I'm sweating? I'm always hungry. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's probably more blood when sugar. When you go in fat burning mode, when your body learns to burn fat. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Okay. So, when you're used to eating carbohydrate all the time, your body gets very lazy. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to burn carbohydrate than it is to burn fat. Mm -hmm. So, your body has to some extent to learn all over again how to process fat. Mm -hmm. And all the relevant enzymes that your body hasn't been using, I mean, it's different enzymes are involved in burning fat than in burning carbohydrate. Those enzymes are probably in short supply, so your body has to switch on certain pathways and switch off others, and it takes time for your body to adapt. Mm -hmm. But your body will adapt, and uh, within about a week to 10 days, you will be totally, totally, totally off of that sugar-induced mm -hmm. uh, High. Not only high, I mean, you will find that you, your head, you can think more clearly. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just actually feel better. Okay. So can we put up a list of uh, carbohydrates that people didn't know was carbohydrates and maybe attach it to the video for them? And then they can pause the video and look at all the list of uh, foods. Well, I don't think it's possible to make a complete list, but sure, we can make a list. Okay. People, you will have to just start reading those food labels. Okay. So, that is that then. <laughs> I hope we helped you guys out, and I hope you have a great day, and uh, I hope these uh, videos are going to get you guys thinking some more. Have a great day, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.